where the Golden Bears have a coach who has proven she can indeed beat Stanford and just about anybody else. Lindsey Gottlieb has led Cal to a Final Four, a Pac-12 title, and six NCAA tournament appearances while winning nearly 70% of her games. But her impact upon her student-athletes goes well beyond the court. My favorite thing about Lindsay is her goofiness. Um, even though maybe she's not the best dancer, she'll dance with us, or just, she just gives us great moments, great memories. I came to the school because of her. I think she has like inspired me and changed my life. She wants a lot um, of success for others. And she, she really wants, she just really wants you to do your best and everything. Her being as genuine as she is has really stuck with me. And knowing um, I might, I might want to be a coach one day, and I feel like that would, she's my blueprint. I was a student athlete at Brown, uh, loved college, loved you know the team basketball experience. But that's where I first kind of figured out, wow, you know, I'm an X's and O's nerd. I love the game. Um, but also, I could do this as a profession and profoundly impact the 18 to 22 year old type um, young person who's going through a lot who I think really needs somebody in their life that you know, not only teaches them pick and roll defense, but also you know, how to handle life situations and have someone in their corner. We're not just basketball players to her, we're people. So like, she cares about us after basketball, in school, our health and everything. So I think um, that's really important because we're all just so much happier playing for her. I hope that they learn, you know, basketball skills. I hope that those that go to the WNBA can come with any type of defensive scheme and offensive scheme and be better for it. But more so, I hope that, you know, they're able to handle any situation in their life with, with poise, with toughness, with grace, with confidence. Um, that's what you want to give them, right? The tools to handle, um, you know, through their basketball experience, tools to handle anything that, that, you know, comes their way in life. She thinks of people before herself. That gives people hope that it's, it's people out there that are trying to help you out and succeed in life. She um, is like my second mom. She's the most selfless person that I know. Seeing young women literally go through the process of believing that they can do things that maybe they didn't believe before and then working hard to get better and struggling and then ultimately actually um, achieving things that um, they maybe hadn't even thought about. To kind of be part of that whole process of them becoming um, is, is pretty unbelievable. Here to present our final Game Changer Award of the evening, one of the greatest athletes in University of California history, three-time All-Pac-12 performer, Christine Anigwe. honored to be here tonight in a room full of so many accomplished athletes and coaches. I'm really humbled to be representing years and years of women whose lives have been changed by Lindsay, because that's what Lindsay is. She's a change maker. I was 15 years old when I first met Lindsay. I had just started playing basketball a couple years before and never dreamed of leaving home, never dreamed of going to the top public university in the world. Never dreamed I'd have the possibility to play professional basketball. But Lindsay changed all that. She didn't just sell me a dream, she gave me a dream. She didn't just give me a vision, she gave me a life I could never have imagined before. She's changed the trajectory of my life and the lives of so many other players. Coming to Cal was pretty difficult for me. I've always been incredibly close to my mom and leaving Arizona to the Bay left a void I wasn't sure I would really connect with anyone until I met Lindsay. We spent a lot of time together watching film or just talking about life. I gravitated to her light and her energy. And when someone believes in you, like Lindsay does, how can you not work hard for them? How can you not love them? I wanted to be in the gym because I wanted to change this program. I wanted to win games. Lin Lindsay pours so much of her heart into this program, into others. She's so selfless, brings light and opportunity to all those around her. Even when I hit a wall my junior year and lost a bit of who I was, Lindsay never did. She believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. 
Lindsay helped me reflect on my potential and take the next step into giving back and growing to the woman I wanted to be. I want to be fearless. I want to be confident. I want to be like Lindsay. <laughs> Basketball, it's its own platform. I love the game. I love winning. But it's what you choose to do with it, who you choose to impact your life. And that's what really matters. There are so many girls, so many people that need someone like Lindsay in their life, someone to help them dream, someone to open doors that they never knew were there, someone to believe in them and on their journey. I believe Coaching Core is about giving everyone access to coaches like Lindsay, coaches who don't just change the game, but change lives. Lindsay, I love you and thank you. Thank you so very much, Christine. You may be scoring 22 points a game and leading the nation in rebounding. She is. Um, <laughs> but the gaudy numbers fail to tell the full story of your intense pursuit of greatness on the court, of human development off the court, of your huge heart and beautiful mind, and of course, your ability to make me cry. I literally cannot believe I'm here, being honored with Bay Area legends and incredible coaches and human beings, all in the name of Coaching Corps. I love sports, always have, and I've always believed that access to sports and good coaching is critical for all young people, particularly young girls and those from less privileged backgrounds. When I moved to the Bay and met Wally Haas and learned about this incredible organization, it immediately became something I was passionate about. To be honored here tonight is beyond special for me. 20 years ago, literally to the week, I was a senior on winter break at Brown University. I did not, like Christine, have a future date with the WNBA draft, <laughs> not even close, um, and had decided a few months earlier that I wanted to go into coaching. That January, I used my time outside of practice to write a letter to every Division I women's basketball coach in America, introducing myself and essentially asking for a job. Speaking of Bay Area legends, a few weeks, weeks later, I got a handwritten note back from none other than Tara Vanderveer. <laughs> On the note, she wrote, Lindsay, the women's game needs young people like you in it. I was pretty pumped to have heard from Tara, but I'm not sure that I fully appreciated her message until I got into coaching. What I learned right away in my first job at Syracuse and what has become more apparent to me every single day is that being bestowed with the title of coach is the greatest privilege and responsibility that one could have. As a basketball coach and educator at a world-renowned university, it is my duty to use my platform to empower the young women that I coach in every possible way. It is my charge to make them believe in the excellence that they possess and encourage them to seek it even when the pathway is strewn with obstacles. It is my mission to have them prepared to face zone defenses with confidence and also to be prepared for class on Monday morning after a road trip so that when they graduate, they are equipped to be a teacher or a mother or a WNBA superstar or a CEO or maybe even a GM of an NBA team one day. I'm not sure that Tara meant all that in her note, <laughs> but she meant something like that because coaches like Tara were doing this coaching thing before there was any money in it, and people like Benita Vargas Brown are doing it every day with little fanfare or attention, and people like Ron Washington and Jerry DeBusk have been doing it for years, whether their student turns out to be one of the greatest shooters of all time. Every kid deserves a good coach, and every person like me who's lucky to do it as a full-time job should take care with every word we utter and every young person we touch with our platform. I recently became a wife to my husband, Patrick, who's out there, and a, and a mother to our son, Jordan. 
And those are the roles that make the heart beat in my chest a little bit more fully. But the title of coach is no less important to me. And Christina Nigue and her teammates are no less a part of my family. Thank you for giving me this tremendous honor. I am so grateful to be a coach and will continue to do my best to make the coaching core community proud each and every day. Thank you so much.